In a rapidly evolving geopolitical landscape, the nature of defense collaborations reflects the challenges of the times. As China, Russia, and North Korea invest in the development of hypersonic warheads, the United States and Japan are set to counter these advanced armaments with joint defense technologies. Their upcoming agreement signifies the strengthening of ties and mutual defense concerns against such formidable adversaries. Unlike the traditional ballistic missiles that have characterized previous eras, the hypersonic projectiles emerging from nations like China, Russia, and North Korea represent a new frontier in warfare. Their ability to change course, coupled with the speed at which they travel, makes them significantly challenging adversaries. These missiles do not adhere to the predictable trajectories of their predecessors, allowing them to evade existing defense systems with greater ease. The increasing emphasis on hypersonic weaponry has undeniably reshaped the defense priorities of many nations. The meeting between US President Joe Biden and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida isn't just a routine diplomatic engagement. Taking place on the sidelines of a trilateral summit involving South Korea's President Yoon Suk-yeol, the rendezvous holds considerable strategic significance. Given the backdrop of the trilateral summit, it underscores the collaborative mindset that democratic nations in the East and West are fostering to face the emerging challenges in the region. The US and Japan have a history of collaborating on defense initiatives. This upcoming agreement on interceptor missile technology isn't their first joint venture in the realm of missile defense. The two nations previously worked together to develop a long-range missile capable of intercepting warheads in space. This missile system, now deployed on Japanese warships patrolling the waters between Japan and the Korean Peninsula, acts as a deterrent against potential North Korean missile strikes. This history provides a robust foundation for their renewed commitment to jointly address the hypersonic threat. While specifics about the upcoming interceptor missile remain under wraps, the requirements it seeks to meet are clear. The new system must be able to track, target, and neutralize hypersonic projectiles that are designed to be unpredictable. Developing such a system requires advanced radar capabilities, rapid response mechanisms, and potentially, eye-driven predictive modeling. The collaboration will likely draw on the expertise and resources of both nations, combining Japan's technological prowess with the US's extensive defense experience. This joint venture isn't just about the development of a defense system, it's a statement. As Japan and the US deepen the defense collaboration, they send a clear message to regional actors about their commitment to maintaining stability and security. The interceptor missile, once developed, will act as a deterrent against aggressive postures from nations with hypersonic capabilities. Furthermore, the collaboration could pave the way for more extensive trilateral or multilateral defense initiatives, involving other regional players concerned about the hypersonic threat. In an era characterized by rapid technological advancements and evolving defense challenges, collaborations such as the one between Japan and the US are not just beneficial but essential. By pooling their resources, expertise, and strategic insights, these nations can craft a formidable response to the challenges posed by hypersonic projectiles. As the dynamics of the East Asian region continue to shift, partnerships built on mutual respect, shared concerns, and collaborative spirit will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping a secure and stable future. Until next time, take care.